This temple is one of 29 temples that President Thomas S. Monson has announced since he became the president of the church a little over four years ago. This truly is a sacred place. It's filled with great history. I think that's what motivated the first presidency to make the decision to restore the tabernacle as a temple. If you had not been so faithful in going to the temple and filling the Provo Temple, this would not have happened. I was distressed as you were when the tabernacle burned. And as I've looked at it to you this morning, I've been reminded of the psalmist's words, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Certainly we feel a great spirit of joy this day as we contemplate what lies ahead in this beautiful location. We cried when a tabernacle burned. And as emotional as that has been for us, it doesn't quite rank with those early difficult years when temples burned. And people walked a long, long way in the cold and through the night. So we build temples. When the storms of life swirl around us, we still build temples. And we're going to build one in the heart of Provo, Utah. <laughs>